Welcome to the Spectra V3 instructional DVD from White's Electronics. The presentations included on this disc are designed to provide the knowledge you need while getting you started hunting quickly with your amazing Spectra V3 detector. The Spectra V3 is the result of our design team's dedication to the users of our machines. Beginner and expert users alike ask for more detection depth, more target information, reliable wireless headphones, and a vivid color display. That machine is here, and it's called Spectra V3. Never has the world of treasure hunting seen such a powerful blend of user-definable technology with turn-on-and-go user-friendliness. Here's what you have on this instructional disc. For those of you who already have your detector ready to get outside, simply keep watching this introduction. In a moment, we're going to demonstrate the basic startup and hunting sequence. The next section you'll want to review is under the Quick Start menu. It provides a visual reference for many of the essential menus, navigation features, and functions of Spectra V3. The Tips section offers guidance on everything you need to know about Spectra V3's controls in a short, simple tour. You'll learn about some tried and true adjustments that really work to get the most out of your Spectra V3. The More section dives in just a little bit deeper to explain expert menu options, customizing your Spectra V3 programs, preferences, and even color schemes. You'll also find two other sections which explain your wireless headphone setup and registration of your Spectra V3 detector. Now let's get started with Spectra V3 from White's Electronics. It's easy to get started with your Spectra V3. Simply press the on-off control and wait a moment. Note the battery voltage in the lower left-hand portion of the display. Anything 8 volts or above will operate the Spectra V3 fine. Squeeze and release the trigger on the grip. With program highlighted, use the arrow up and down keys to select the program you, you wish to use today. We're going to select the coin and jewelry program. So that the Spectra V3 can ignore the ground and penetrate deeper, it's best to start with an initial ground balance. To ground balance the Spectra V3, squeeze and hold the trigger on the grip, press and hold enter, and pump the search coil over the ground until the threshold tone or background tone stabilizes. Release enter, release trigger, and you're ready to begin searching. Once a solid, repeatable audio beep is found with multiple passes of the search coil, note the display indications, icon and VDI number and spectrograph. To pinpoint exactly where to dig, squeeze and hold the trigger on the grip, sweep side to side, and forward to back. Once you've achieved the strongest audio and the biggest bar graph, pivot 90 degrees and do the same thing, side to side and forward to back. With your purchase of the Spectra V3 detector from White's Electronics, you're ready to enjoy state-of-the-art technology that is easy to use and fun to experience. This overview is designed to show you your way around this amazing machine quickly and simply so that you can get out and make discoveries right away. For more detailed usage and customizing the Spectra V3, you can view the in-depth instructions by clicking the More button on this DVD. Let's get started with the essentials of the control pad and display. You're probably familiar with the traditional means of navigating today's electronic devices with menu and item selection with a touchpad. The Spectra V3 is no different, and despite complete ability for customizing your hunting, you're never more than a push button away from getting back to the search screen. Plus, you don't have to worry about permanently messing up settings or losing factory presets. The Spectra V3 can always be restored to its factory settings. 
We've already mentioned the method of navigating the menus, the traditional touchpad, arrows for up and down and side to side, a menu tab button that brings up the menu and also moves your cursor to the next item. Pressing this button twice in succession will access the information configuration screen, which we'll talk about in a moment. The enter button selects the current option. The zoom view button adjusts the text size or provides a more detailed menu. To back up or escape from the current location, just squeeze and release the trigger. Let's take a look at the screen that you're going to be viewing most of the time while hunting. We call it the active search screen, and it's viewable with the trigger in the center position. At first glance, there's a lot of information, but once you become familiar with what the Spectra V3 is illustrating, it will seem as though you are seeing through the ground. For you experienced detectorists, the upper part of the display should be familiar to you. An object's VDI number, an icon of the likely target, and its depth are all readily displayed and constantly updated in real time. The center of the display is where you'll find the signograph data. Exclusive to whites, this real-time graph shows results of targets from each of Spectra V3's three operating frequencies. From left to right, this graph represents the VDI range. The color-coded regions indicate accepted ranges with a green bar and the rejected or discriminated ranges with a red bar. As you encounter targets, you have several real-time indications on your screen providing information. The VDI number, analysis data from the three independent frequencies, and the depth of the object. Below the signograph, you'll find a status bar, and at the bottom of the display are the live controls. We're going to talk about those features in a moment, but first, let's take a quick look at two modes of operation in addition to a standard search. When operating the Spectra V3, you toggle between different modes. That's easy to remember because the toggle is done with the trigger switch. If you remember, our standard search mode is when the trigger is in the center position. With the trigger squeezed and held, the Spectra V3 is in pinpoint mode. Pinpointing is used once you've detected a target and are ready to zero in on it for easy recovery. A couple of things change when pinpointing. First, the VDI number is now replaced with a larger depth indication. Second, the signograph now shows signal strength of each frequency as the loop is moved relative to the target. When the depth is at minimum and your signal strengths are at maximum, your target is at the center of your loop and it's time to start digging. When the trigger is pushed forward, the Spectra V3 enters the Active Analyze mode. This mode produces a color-coded graph, just like you would see in a laboratory oscilloscope. In fact, that's just what Spectra V3 is doing. In real time, you're doing a spectrum analysis of your target. Still present are the VDI number, this time with an accuracy probability rating, the likely target icon, and the depth of the target. This is a very useful way and a new way to display target information. Not only does the graph report the composition of the target, but also indicates the size of the target. With a quick sweep of the Spectra V3 loop in active analyze mode, you know more about your target than if you were holding it in your hand. The status bar is where you will look to see in real time which program you're in, what sorts of targets you may be rejecting, and other essential functions of the Spectra V3. The live controls at the bottom of the display is where you'll access the menus, options, and adjustments of the Spectra V3. As the name implies, live control adjustments can be made on the fly while the Spectra V3 continues to operate. For now, we're going to cover the basic steps of accessing some programs and menu items. But for the purposes of this quick start guide, you'll want to explore the more detailed adjustments of your machine by viewing the information from the More tab or consulting the Complete Owner's Guide. There's one adjustment to your Spectra V3 that you'll want to make, choosing one of the preset Turn On and Go search programs. To do this, simply bring up the main menu or the six block by pressing the menu button on the touchpad. Here, you will find six tabs or blocks of adjustment groups. The upper left tab is the programs area. Select it and press enter. Notice that the current menu category is displayed across the top of the display. Programs is where you'll find a collection of presets which have all the tweaking and fine tuning already done and matched to a wide variety of hunting conditions. Most are self-explanatory such as relic or high trash. Choose one of the presets by navigating with the up and down arrows of the touchpad and pressing enter to make a selection. Squeeze and release the trigger a couple of times to back your way through the six block back to your search screen and you're ready to hunt. 
Your preset selection is now indicated in your status bar. Let's get back to our six block or main menu and briefly go over the other tabs. Next to the Programs tab is the Sensitivity tab. Press to enter and you're presented with a series of settings and sliders to adjust the respective levels. Use the up and down arrows to navigate the list, then the left and right arrows to adjust. To learn more about each of these settings, consult the Complete Owner's Guide. Back to the 6 block and our next tab, the Audio section. The Spectra V3 adds the dimension of real-time audio indicators. Slip on the optional wireless headphones and you could literally search with your eyes closed. You can customize how your Spectra V3 sounds by tweaking the levels, tones, and threshold settings. It's here that you can make adjustments to your wireless headphone setup as well. From the 6 block, let's move into Discrimination. This is where you can customize which items Spectra V3 will ignore and which you will see in here. It's worth mentioning that discrimination methods can also be set in the live controls with a visual method of discrimination. Target icons with a red slash will be ignored by Spectra V3. From the 6 block once again, we now move into the frequency section. Here you can make selections and adjustments to the frequencies utilized by Spectra V3. There's also a frequency offset option which helps Spectra V3 avoid conflicting signals when other detectors are within range or there's electrical interference causing your machine to act erratically. These same parameters can also be accessed from the live control section. The last tab in our 6 block is the ground balance tracking section. This is where adjustments can be made to help make the ground transparent during your search. Before you make adjustments here you should complete a manual ground balancing of your machine. Simply squeeze the trigger, press and hold enter, and pump the detector loop up and down over the ground until a smooth threshold tone is achieved. You'll want to be able to quickly view and perhaps adjust some of your Spectra V3's essential functions. To do this, press the menu button twice to enter the information configuration section. It's here where you can activate and adjust your screen's backlight feature. Check battery voltage and enter your ownership information. You can even switch to metric measurement units. The last item in this section is the expert menu area. This is where you can design your own custom programs and refine your detector. You can even share your custom program with other Spectra V3 machines via a wireless transfer. Color schemes, sounds, and icons are just a few of the other adjustments you can make to personalize and customize your detector. There's plenty of information and support resources available to you. From any menu, move the trigger to the forward position to bring up a help balloon, which provides information about the selected menu item. Take some time to go through the complete owner's guide. It offers very detailed instruction and reference information about your Spectra V3. The Spectra V3 DVD contains this presentation along with the detailed tour under the More tab. Great information and other users are just a click away online by visiting White's website and logging on to the discussion forum. You can contact your local White's dealer or authorized regional distributor by simply calling 1-800-547-6911. Congratulations on your purchase. All of us at White's Electronics know that you will enjoy the amazing Spectra V3 detector.